friends, welcome back to Seek the Soul, the Truth Lies Within. So in this channel, which is a channel for only one channel for everything which you want to get to know about, it's right here, right now. Check this out. Welcome back. Last time we were trying to record and then yeah. something happened to it. I was putting on all my gadgets. Everything was connected to the phone and that created all the all the problem. <laughs> so so, so how happened? have you been doing? I mean, I've been doing wonderfully well, Kamali. And uh, so what happened yeah. is last time I had a nice uh, conversation with one of my uh, own persons. And uh, she was talking about the same thing regarding, you know, it's becoming difficult to focus on any one thing and it's becoming difficult to, you know, be attentive. The mind is going left, right and center and uh, being surrounded by negativity. And uh, she was saying that she was trying to read books, but then her attention span was reducing. She was not interested. The zeal wasn't coming. The interest wasn't coming in even reading the books which she used to do earlier and she knows that the exam is coming but then she's not uh, being able to focus she's not able to put her complete heart and mind into it yeah that's true that that's exactly what i was also telling you the other day hmm. that you know initially like uh, when i was going to my office and everything mm -hmm. it was much easier for me to plan out my day that you know on the weekends i will be watching a movie on netflix I will be reading this book. I will be completing some work. But mm -hmm. now since there is so much of free time, mm -hmm. I mean, you have so much of time in your hand that it is becoming very difficult that you, you like I know, like, okay, I can watch a movie anytime I want. Right. Like it is, time is in my hand right now. So it becomes so, basically people are losing interest in doing anything. Like neither do you like watching a movie, reading a book or anything. Right. So right. That, that is really creating a problem. Right, like uh, the zeal and the enthusiasm and the courage to do something new or not just something new, maybe what you were doing for the past couple of uh, months before the lockdown and you suddenly find yourself not being able to focus on that or concentrate on that or the old habits are again not coming back or uh, we're not able to do the same things again. Actually, you see, a lot of things have changed after the lockdown and we know that the cases are also increasing, Kamalika, day by day and the fear in the mind of people is actually occupying a lot of space. So earlier people were like Bayfikar Basha, they were not so much concerned about things going around. They were in their busy in their own life. They were happy in their own life. And suddenly something like this attacks the whole world. So the whole vibration of the place where we are staying in, let's say a city like Delhi or uh, as a world, complete world in itself, is feeling that vibration of uh, fear or negativity a lot. So even though we might be away from Delhi, which is having the maximum number of cases, let's say, but we are in Darjeeling, but people over here are also getting affected because telepathically or through thought vibrations, which we learn in spirituality, we realize that we are not disconnected. We are not far away from people. Our thoughts can carry faster than anything else in the world. So a vibration which is created in Delhi can also be felt in Darjeeling. As soon as you think about Delhi, as soon as you think about the world, you can start catching those vibrations. You can start absorbing those vibrations instantly. So we might be comfortable in our homes. We might be eating well. We might be thinking or seeing the news every day and talking to our family members also. Actually surrounded by situations in which we are... Uh, facing not just the tensions of people but also the tensions of people around us and the city in which we are living and also the whole country as a whole so obviously at this time having those kind of uh, fluctuating moods or thought patterns is also something which is affecting people and more than that 
you know so many deaths are happening because of this uh, virus corona virus so many people so many we, we say that so many souls are leaving their bodies without being ready for it so imagine the condition of a soul who's suddenly attacked by a virus is happy go lucky before this and is planned out so many things in the life has planned out the career has planned out uh, life with the family has just got married or just had a baby and just going through financial crisis and then you suddenly find out that you are suffering from the virus and you are not going to be there for the next whole time with the family you're just going to be there for just one or two days that's it your life span is there in this present body so obviously those thoughts are also affecting it's a sad sad kind of a condition so even the doctors even the nurses they're not able to take so much of uh, uh, stress with by seeing so many deaths happening in front of them imagine the vibration of the whole city and the whole world with so many people dying without wanting that kind of thing to happen to them we call it akale mrityu means before time you're dying not in a normal way not in a normal sense by getting old and then leaving your body right so yes surrounding situations are like that but then what can we do in this time how can we protect ourselves how can we take care of our own mental situations when there's so much of negativity so i just had one thing in my mind i realized that we know what is happening around us we know what exactly is the situation around us but i can create a cocoon of my own world i can be in my own world it doesn't mean that i neglect myself or i am not concerned about what is happening around me i keep in touch with the world but then my whole lifestyle from morning to evening should not be about absorbing all that negative news i should not be so focused on that news so much so that my energy levels are draining out because my negativity is increasing and my positivity is reducing so if throughout the day i'm put i'm on youtube and i'm listening to the news what's happening in america what's happening in india what's happening in delhi and what's happening in my city i am basically bombarding my mind with so much of data which is not going to let me be focused in any thing as such and second thing is if i'm spreading that news to people like do you know what happened you know there's another case do you know there are 30 people sick do you know that 40 people have just died or if i'm sharing that information with What's people right right exactly when i'm doing that i am spreading out more of negativity and the law of karma says what you give to other people comes back to you so people become a mirror of you so if i am sending whatsapp messages of negativity let's say if in my in our channel also come like what we have created in this channel also let's say if i only spread about okay the cases have increased now you please wear your mask don't go out don't uh, take in things without uh, sanitizing them it's very very difficult there might be virus everywhere virus stays for 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours okay that information is okay but let's say if i become the source of spreading that information i am sending that every day to people so if i have been doing that for the couple of months i have already drained myself out till today i have already drained myself out and i have not been able to focus on something which i want to do in my life so that is one of the reasons seeing negative news and spreading negative news so being a soul we realize that soul is an energy and energy as such that is not like you keep a pan of water and then you start heating it up on the gas you start boiling the water right and you have a control over the knob right it's a physical thing you can just lower it or you can increase it you have control over it but here this energy is coming from the eyes entering through the way of eyes as an information you're hearing it so is there any knob in the mind which i can create is there any physical knob in the mind through which i can decide okay the, the information is too negative too negative it's it's, a, it's reaching a boiling point in my mind let me just cool down my mind so do i have any physical knob no i don't have right i don't have any kind of control so i need to find a way to control it i need to say no to things and i need to have the knowledge of saying what is right and what is wrong how much can i take how much i can't take that is the most important aspect over here
so early morning i can either take negative news and i can disturb my mind throughout the day or i can put in pure news positive news of good things which are happening around me and focus on the good things which i want in my life i can do that also so it depends upon me what kind of information am i taking yes it doesn't mean that i totally disconnect myself from the world i be in touch but i'm not focused so much into it you see the soul is actually always projecting our thoughts in the form of pictures we need to understand how does the soul or how does the mind work we are like projectors we always thinking about somebody and there's a screen which is created the person's picture comes the person's emotions comes and there's an emotion attached with that picture and that's how a memory is created just a picture no emotions attached is not a memory is just like looking at a video screen is that is something physical but here we are talking about conscious beings as souls we create picture and we have an emotion attached to it let's say you went out somewhere you had a vacation you met some people you have memories with that so if you were laughing if you were jovial if you create that picture you will feel that feeling over here of jovialness by recalling that right so we store we souls we store everything in the form of picture and emotions now from morning itself i open my whatsapp immediately as soon as i get up or i open the tv or i open the youtube and suddenly i see that's happening i see certain things so there's a feeling which i'm creating and a picture i'm creating and those pictures are numerous in number so if i've got 10 pictures early in the morning of negativity and emotions connected to it of negativity i've only i already imbalanced or disbalanced my chakras or my energy levels early in the morning now i sit down to focus on work imagine now i sit down to try to create something which is positive instantly at that time can i instantly do it yeah a person who's practicing meditation might be able to do it a person who's practicing a form of meditation in which he can detach the scenery with the feelings you can be a detached observer also right i can watch look at the news without like looking at a screen without getting into emotions of it like watching a movie but not getting emotional about it because i know at the end of the day there's a camera there's lights there's a director sit standing over there i can't see them and there's an action which is going on that's the real scene so i need not get emotional about the movie when i'm watching it right so here also i can get detached i can see the news take it as information but i can feel detached that's a form of meditation it's like talking to the self okay i don't need to get attached to this so some people can do that but if you are not able to do that it is better to avoid it or through the form of meditation learn it okay beautiful Okay. Okay. So there see 
one one thing is very simple over here i have very little control over the things which are there outside i would want the media to change the way they portray the news portray the condition of the world right now or my own city right now that is something which is outside me that is something when i think about that when i think about they should change they should be like this they should be like that when i even create thoughts like this i am becoming powerless i am giving away all the power to somebody else it's like you have money in your account and you say okay this account is there for you please use it the way you want to use it and 10 people will come they'll withdraw the money and they'll take it out and they'll go away so i have given away the whole power to other people <laughs> okay so spirituality says that oh, we when we start finding faults and we start complaining or when we start saying they should be like this when we are pointing out instead of doing that instead of giving their power away let me take my power back what can i do at this point of time so again two things come i can one is protect myself and i can protect others also now i'm not talking about on a physical basis you can if you can do it on a physical basis that's beautiful if you're a doctor you can do it right you are trying to protect yourself protect other people also we also trying to protect ourselves keeping social distance but there's another distance which we need to maintain that is a spiritual or a mental distance that means we become just observers detached observers of seeing what is happening around us and at the same time the second power the way to get that power back is that i start generating power in my mind that means i start creating powerful thoughts in my mind whenever i see a scene of distress i start praying for them so that prayer is a form of a shield around me it's a protection around me it immediately stops any other arrows of negativity to enter myself first so i protect myself when i pray i double protect myself it's like wearing a double bulletproof jacket so <laughs> so you you want to protect yourself by being detached and second thing is you want to completely pray for others and when you pray for others you can only pray when you pray for yourself that means if you don't earn money you can't give it to anybody else right so if you a currency if you want to earn a currency of power of the mind then i need to create that currency in my mind first so how do i create a currency in my mind i can talk to myself like i am i am protected all the time i am safe all the time anyone and everyone if i end up meeting they are all taken care of they are all protected they are all healed every person around me is healed or you can even go into very particular words and say like okay everybody i come across is negative when it comes to the virus i am so lucky that every time i come across somebody or anywhere i go to buy things or if i go for grocery i go to that vegetable person to whom only negative cases people come over there and my own guidance system in my mind i am such a conscious being i am such a powerful being my sixth sense is so powerful that i am guided by the voice within me to go to that person who is the vegetable vendor go to that person who is the owner of the medical shop so i can create those thoughts for myself and i can create the same kind of thoughts for others so i have created powerful thoughts for myself i feel good about it right when i say these words it's a pray for the self and then i thank the supreme being i thank the thank the supreme father i say thank you so much for the, your protection thank you so much for your guidance thank you so much for your love your love is my protection your love is my only hope and then we create thoughts of protection and love for others also and that's the only way we can detach ourselves and we can protect ourselves and pray for others also and so i'm creating a cocoon i'm already staying in a house i'm already in a lockdown but i need to lock down my energies i need to create 
barriers which cannot be seen through my eyes but can be felt through my thoughts so these are certain things which and i cannot see through my eyes i can only see the four walls around me that okay i'm safe but there's another world a world beyond the five elements beyond the five senses and that's a world which spirituality says that people who are weak in thoughts with fear are the ones who attract more of weakness more of fear and they get into situations which create more of fear and they attract situations which create more of issues and trouble so i can handle not anybody around me i can only handle myself and my thoughts and fear also has an effect actually there's an episode which i've already put up i think and that's about thoughts and our uh, immunity system how thoughts affect our body so in that i've spoken about that how our thoughts actually our thoughts of fear and negative situations around us also affect our chakra which is the solar plexus chakra or the happiness chakra which is connected with the digestive system that means the tummy the pancreas the liver the spleen the intestines and everything around in that area so if i am thinking thoughts of negativity or why this why not that it should have been like this they shouldn't have done that that means i'm giving away control to other people when i do that i'm creating stress and when i'm creating stress because as soon as i give the power to somebody else i feel powerless because now it's because of them everything which is happening is because of them so i'm powerless when i'm powerless my own stress goes up my happiness meters come down my mind becomes more wavery because i am blaming everything around me and outside me and i'm not taking responsibility i'm not creating thoughts of powerful thoughts of purity and detachment so when i'm doing that my immunity system goes down because my hormonal levels shifts up up and down so there's a hormone known as cortisol the cortisol level starts peaking up and that is the cortisol is a hormone which is released released by the adrenal glands which are responsible for our immunity system it is responsible for our uh, action and reaction to situations so if we create a stress immediately the cortisol level goes up the white blood cell levels go down which are required to fight any kind of outer bacteria or viruses so if my stress cortisol level goes up and my because of which my white blood cells go down my immunity goes down so i'm i'm quickly attacked by the virus may not be the virus immediately but any other kind of disease so i need to maintain a balance when i'm neither blaming anybody or nor am i sad about anything i am in a normal situation normal state of mind all the time i am not blaming anybody outside i am not cursing myself or the world so in that case i am creating normal cortisol levels good white blood cell levels good level of energy in my solar plexus chakra good digestive system so if the digestive system is doing well automatically your immune system is good you are protected by an aura around you that's another important thing actually so people are going into anxiety anxiety only comes because of three things past present and future when our mind is traveling between all these three aspects why this thing happened why did it this do this thing right now they shouldn't have done this thing present me why are they doing doing this thing what will happen if they do that what will i do so all these three things the three aspects of time this is the reason of anxiety and the mind is fluctuating between all these things that means the mind is not focused in the present what do i need to do in right now how do i need to be happy right now what are the things i need to be grateful for right now so that is this so that is a practice it doesn't come like okay i think about it today how do i be grateful for things today and then after 10 days again i think then those this today and that 10 days the energy is already gone down and trying to come up from that 10 days of backlog imagine you having backlog of work on you 
so that is a physical work which you do backlog you have so many 10 days of files imagine a backlog which we create every day that means if we don't put in a practice of gratitude on a daily basis thankfulness gratefulness of i am protected till now i am okay till now at least i have got two chapatis and dal roti you know and bhat which i am eating right now so what can i be grateful for around me so that my mind doesn't go into what will happen why it happened why when what where how is the thing which creates anxiety so if i'm protected till now thanks to godfather thanks to allah thanks to jehovah thanks to shiva thanks to whomsoever you want to thank thanks to them thanks to them because right now i'm okay and that's the only thing which i can do the only thing which is there with me is this strength is the present thoughts which i create not my present thoughts are going to decide what and how will i react to the future situations if i am sulking if i am complaining i am already low in energy i am already low in taking responsibility i am already low in power now suddenly a situation arise in front of me what will i do it's like i have not had the nutrition i have not had food throughout the day and suddenly i need to rush somewhere what will happen you'll feel low right so similarly if i have not created pure positive thoughts for the mind i'm already weak thinking about what will happen in the future why did they do this in the past so i'm already reducing my power and energy i'm giving away all the power to other people all the responsibilities of the people because of them it's happening so suddenly a situation arises in front of me will i have enough power to face it or in that situation also i'll use the same habit of complaining and blaming the other person because it, the energy gets transferred the habit gets transferred so this is something which we need to do we need to focus on the present right now and be grateful thankful to all the five elements thank you to the electricity also thank you to the chair also thank you to this body also which is keeping me healthy over here thank you to the clothes thank you to the food thank you to the government and rather when i say thank you to the government thank you to the people thank you to the doctors it is actually don't you think it's sending out vibrations to them which is going to help them maybe for a second yeah it will help them for a second to do something better to make a better decision maybe it's just that one second that they need to make a better decision so as to wipe out the virus just one second difference but i've been to reach that one second i've taken 10 days of complaining to reach that one second of thankfulness or gratitude i've taken 10 days of complaining imagine so am i not going to be anxious throughout these 10 days exactly and one of the reasons main reasons for depression is that when we start uh, blaming the other person because then it becomes a unstoppable form of barrage of thoughts which come to us because every information which we see from outside on tv we start blaming we start pointing out so we are giving away more of our power to other people and when we give away more of our power to other people it's like a cart with a horse and you have left the leash you you are not holding the leash anymore so the horse is going sometimes left sometimes right sometimes back sometimes halting so how will you feel when you in that kind of cart will you feel that you are reaching anywhere no so when you are not progressing in life because you are blaming everybody around when we are not taking action for what i need to do right now through our thoughts first and then acting upon those things in the present time i'll obviously be depressed because the more because instead of praying for somebody if i'm cursing somebody imagine the difference between prayer and curse so blaming is a form of a curse praying and gratitude and thank you to the nurses is a form of a prayer if i say what are they doing don't do the nurses don't the doctors understand they shouldn't have done shouldn't have done this thing they don't understand am i sending a pure offer vibration so if i start complaining i'll be stuck like that cart 
the horse will be going left right and center because i'll be focused on whom should i blame next so that's the only way kamalika and we have to stop complaining and we have to take charge of our life so that our levels of depression go down we start praying for the world we increase our energy levels by prayers we become detached observers of things which are going around our, us around us and we can only become detached observers by praying for them and we need to realize that every person as per their karma is receiving the fruit of it so people because of the karmic accounts also are going through the process of getting infected by the virus actually to be very frank with and if you see the kind of cities which are getting affected the bigger cities which are getting getting affected you see the lifestyle of people around there you will see the kind of uh, negativity in those cities and the stress level in those cities you will realize that it's not just cities but even countries which have got higher stress levels where spirituality spirituality is not there where there is monetarity more of there instead of spirituality there is stress and there the virus is attacking even more places like delhi places like mumbai places like kolkata where people have got stress of finances and their immunity system is going down the cortisol level is going up that's where the virus is attacking mostly yeah so absolutely great 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 kamalika thank you kamalika so much for coming over thank you okay take care see you by then